Good day, folks. Everything new under the sun. There's going to be a couple short uh, video clips coming up uh, that I took out of this particular interview on the Sean Ryan, on the Sean Ryan uh, Show podcast, <clears throat> and it's Tucker and Ryan. Uh, both are who uh, who are uh, apparently uh, relatively new Christians, relatively new <clears throat> believers, and they're coming to the understanding that in this day and age of the deception and the corruption in government. And all the things that are happening, the pandemic, the Christians are the ones uh, for whom the veil has been lifted already, if you will, as it relates to truth and the, the corruption, the behind the scenes thing, the spiritual warfare. What they are saying, what they are confirming is that it's the Christians who understand what's coming on. It's the Christians who saw through the pandemic. It's the Christians, those who are faithful, those who are uh, who love the truth. It's those who are seeing uh, through the corruption you know, of the government. And, uh, you know, the regular folks are, are slowly, slowly coming um, to, to know that. Um, but uh, uh, it's interesting. Watch a couple of clips. They're not necessarily safe uh, for work. Um, but I think it's an interesting interview of, you know, uh, prior unbelievers recognizing that Christians know what's happening and they're not afraid of what's happening. They know what's coming. They read the end of the Bible. And the Bible says in the last days there is great deception. And most of the people in the world will be carried away by the deception. This is Second Thessalonians uh, chapter 2. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except the falling away. And this is the King James Version, and I take that for what it means I think that means there will be Christians who fall away from the faith. They will be uh, consumed. They will fall into the deception. It says, and the man of sin will be revealed, the son of perdition. Now, I think uh, this happens just before the abomination of desolation in the third temple. Um, I think he. I think the Christians know who who this Antichrist figure is when he when he comes to power. Likely after you know after there's a couple of nuclear weapons dropped you know between Russia and the United States, which is coming up shortly, folks. Um, once it happens, once this world leader steps on the stage, I think Christians will have a good understanding, a good idea. But most of the world won't. They, he will only be revealed to the world, to the non-Christian, to the people who are blinded by it, uh, when he causes the abomination of desolation, sits on the throne in the third temple, declares himself to be God. And, and it refers to that in verse 4. So the man of sin will be revealed when? When he who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is uh, called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. This is God. This is also God's red line, the abomination of desolation in the temple, and this is when he is revealed. Uh, when when the the Jews finally realize, oh, this is not our Savior. This is the Antichrist. It says, and then shall the wicked uh, be revealed. And I think the wickedness in the world is really being revealed now. We're starting to see. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. This is speaking of the, the, uh, the Holy Spirit. Now letteth, uh, we think that this means, uh, you know, they're letting it. Uh, but this, is, this means holding back. If you look at the Old English, this means holding back. Um, so the Holy Spirit is holding back um, uh, the the iniquity, the sin, the Antichrist right now, and he he will be taken out of the way uh, at some point, and, and then uh, you know that that Antichrist will truly be revealed, uh, and so the wicked be revealed again. This is the abomination of desolation. Uh, the Holy Spirit's going to be here for as long as we Christians are here. The Holy Spirit is in our heart. So that uh, that lines up. That's the rapture when he takes the church out. That's when the Holy Spirit leaves. When the Holy Spirit leaves, the church leaves, right? Uh, so um, that that's one and the same thing. And then after that, he the Antichrist will be revealed to everybody, and it will be uh, obvious to them. But to the Christians, I think we will know uh, who that person is. You'd better recognize him because um, you're going to know him by you know the fruits, by what he does, and what the Bible says about him. And deception in the last days, and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth. They do, they're not interested in truth. Do you see any ongoing conversations about uh, the pandemic? Uh, and Do you see MPs on board with that? No. Uh, do you see the major world powers 
the United States, Canada, Australia, uh, holding significant uh, committees and uh, you know uh, reconciliation events or truth um, uh, uh, you know that setups where they're uh, discussing this and trying to get to the bottom of it. I think Scotland has a has a great um, COVID origins and and, and truth um, uh, discussion going on there. Uh, and but but no other major countries are doing it because uh, the people in power do not love the truth. Why? Because they're they're concealing iniquity, they're concealing sin, they're concealing corruption. There, folks. So they do not love the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them a strong delusion. God's going to say, you know what? If you you don't want to believe the truth, you don't want to see the truth. You are uh, baked into your lie then at that point. At some point, God just gives them over and says, you've chosen, uh, you've chosen a lie, so stick with it. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3. It goes through all the uh, things uh, about the last days, perilous times shall come. Men shall be lovers of their own selves, selves covetous, boasters, proud, proud. Blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, right? Without natural affection. And if I say some other words there, uh, this video will get flagged. You, you know what that means, truth breakers. But verse 7 here, 7, it says, Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. The truth is in front of them. The truth is going to be revealed in these, these last days so that no one is without excuse. But they do not love the truth and they... Uh, can never come to the knowledge of the truth because they don't want the truth. Now, uh, Yanis and Hambres uh, withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate, reprobate concerning the faith. They don't want the truth. In the last days, there will be, uh, the truth will come out. Because God will uh, ensure that no one has an excuse. He can say, look, I revealed the truth to you. You didn't accept the truth. Is there a truth coming out about the pandemic and about uh, the war and the war machine? There is, but people don't accept the truth. But it's out there. God's going to make it out there. Uh, people aren't going to be able to say, you know what? I was watching CNN. I was watching CBC. I didn't hear the truth. No, God's going to provide them the truth. And the truth is being revealed. Here, here's some truth being revealed about uh, about the pandemic, right? Uh, a lot of people um, may be deleted because of this, right? The truth is coming out. The truth is slowly coming out. Is mainstream covering this? No, absolutely not. Why? Because there's secrets to cover up. There's lies to cover up. There's corruption. And I'm going to get in trouble on this YouTube channel. I will be taken down for, for uh, revealing the corruption uh, in government. And they will call me a conspiracy theorist. Read your Bible. It says all these things are going to happen in the last days, right? The truth, though, will be there for you to find it if you want to find it. Um, but they, the mainstream and the governments will hide the truth as much as possible. This is Naib Bukele, a, a Tucker uh, Carlson interview. Interesting things. Uh, he uh, took, and I, I mentioned this before, but he, he took El Salvador... And rescued it from, you know, the murder capital of the, you know, murder country of the world, murder capital of the world in, the, in their cities. And he called it a spiritual war. And the MS-13 gang, uh, they uh, were a satanic gang. And he he is a Christian, I believe. And he prayed with those leaders and, and, and he built up the military and the police. And they took care of this. Uh, but these, there, there is... A, you know, Satan's trying to fight back. He knows the truth is being revealed. He, Satan is trying to cover up the truth as much as possible and obscure it um, so that people don't see it. If people knew the truth, they would re recognize and follow Jesus Christ. And so what is Satan trying to do? He's trying to A, kill as many people as possible. This is what uh, the satanic gang in uh, El Salvador was trying to do. This is what they're doing with abortion. This is what they're doing with made medically assisted assistance in dying, which is in happening in Canada. By the way, those who were injured by the you-know-what, you know, for, uh, during the last four years, what are they doing to those people who were injured? Oh, well, they don't want to compensate them. They don't want to say sorry. What they're offering them is made medically, uh, medical assistance in dying. They're, they're saying, you know what, you can go off yourself uh, if, if you were injured from, you know, what you took during the pandemic. 
Incredible. Uh, this video is totally going to be taken down. Viktor Orban, NATO is pushing us closer to war with Russia. I mean, the truth is out there, folks. There's no interest in real peace. What do they say? And I've said this before. What do they see in Israel? Land for peace. Uh, Israel, stop, you know, going after Gaza. Um, if, if, you're, if you give them land or something, um, that there will be peace. Like, and, and they're constantly saying, let's go to the peace table. Let's make an agreement. Let's make a hostage settlement. Have you talked about land for peace, hostage settlements? Have you talked about, uh, have you heard about anybody talking about peace in Ukraine, Russia? No, because there's lots of money to be made. Folks, I think pastors need to start talking about this stuff. I, I honestly think they do. I think they need to start talking about truth. Uh, and in the last days, this divide by tr this, this divide between truth and lies and deception uh, will effectively uh, cause civil war. It will uh, create two camps, and, and the majority of the camp will be in the lies and the deceptions. The truthers will be uh, labeled as conspiracy theorists, and it's going to get very dangerous. Uh, in the last days, as these two dig in, they take sides, and they go from there. Here's another uh, one. Sales of electric vehicles in Germany. Remember, this is this was going to save the world. But the people aren't necessarily that stupid. And they realize, you know what? Electric vehicles are, A, they're expensive to buy, first of all. B, they're not very climate friendly. C, you know, the where, where are you going to charge it? Um, it's, it's hard to charge it and they're increasing electricity rates and they have lack of electricity because of all the solar stuff and wind energy that they're doing in Germany. It's just not a 24 hour uh, energy supply. And so there's a lot of lies and, and deceptions in the push in the move for this. And it's not individual people, folks. Don't, don't hear me saying that. There's not an international cabal necessarily that's, uh, that's doing this. It's the unseen hand of Satan pushing and nudging uh, all leaders towards the same thing. To trick them, to deceive them, um, uh, to, uh, to make them look over there instead of over here, uh, to bypass all the corruption, uh, to kill as many people as possible, and, and to get everybody fighting and divide people as much as possible. And the main thing is that Satan wants to uh, either kill or deceive people and uh, so that they don't come to the knowledge of the truth because he wants to take as many people with him as he can. He knows he's going to hell uh, forever. He knows his time is short and he wants to be God. So he's trying to take as many away from God as he can. This is what the Bible says. The videos that Tucker Carlson is speaking in uh, reveals that. He, he says the same. The Christians know what's happening. None of the, what's happening in this world is a surprise to the Christian. We understand it. We recognize it. We expect it. But to everybody else, it's a surprise. Remember, the Bible says men's hearts failing them for fear of things coming upon the world. Those are the non-Christians. They don't recognize what's coming upon the world. They don't know what it is. And that's why the Christians have to say and tell them what it is. It's spiritual warfare. Uh, here is Jack Dorsey speaking about uh, our free will being robbed from social media. Now, free will, this is what Satan wants to take away. He wants to take our free away our free will. He doesn't like that we have <clears throat> the free will to choose God or Satan. Uh, he doesn't like that free will. He wants to force everybody. He wants to kill them uh, or uh, force everybody to his side. We are being programmed based on what we say we are interested in. As we engage and interact with this content, the algorithm continues to build more of and more of bias. So when you're on Facebook, when you're on Twitter, recognize this is happening. Recognize that um, there is truth in there, but biases are being um, consolidated and confirmed by the algorithms in social media. It's effectively a black box. You can't predict how it's going to work or what it's going, um, going to show you. And so he is talking about this idea, again, um, that, uh, you know, the, the free will is being removed because people are being railroaded into certain beliefs uh, all, uh, via the algorithm. Uh, is that satanic as well? Yeah. Are, are people doing it on purpose? I don't think uh, any individual person is doing it on purpose. But Satan is guiding people and, and sin and money uh, uh, overwhelms and encourages and attempts people to move things in, in, in a direction which suits Satan's purposes. This uh, article relates to the hook in the jaw, uh, Ezekiel 38, which I think comes before the seven-year period. Um, at the climax, climax of uh, World War III, uh, nuclear, nuclear weapons being used, um, 
and the Antichrist uh, being revealed, I think, uh, you know, the Gog Magog War of Ezekiel 38 and 39 could uh, could be uh, one of the things that's part and parcel of the, the war against the U.S. and Ukraine and the, these sort of things. And this could be the hook in the jaw. Uh, so Putin says, this is not a war, it is an annihilation of civilian population. So when Putin, he's talking about Gaza, he's talking about Israel's uh, move into Gaza. If Putin then thinks, well, we need to go in and, and help Gaza and help Lebanon and help Iran, if Israel does a larger strike on Iran, for example, that that's going to be the hook in the jaw. That's going to draw Putin in and say, you know what, as a country, Russia is not going to stand for this, and we're going to go to war for Gaza, for Lebanon, for Iran against Israel. Um, so Ezekiel 38 and 39 uh, coming in to frame there. But this this love of the truth or, or lack of love of the truth, this is what we're seeing in the last days. And the truth is, it's only the Christians that understand what's happening in the world. When you read the headlines, it's the Christians that know what's really going on. It's not, it's not curious. It's not surprising to the Christians. I will leave it there. The Christians know the truth. They love the truth. But there is deception and evil men will wax worse and worse. It says in verse 13 here, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived themselves even more. But continue thou in the things that thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, uh, and that the, from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture, and this is what the Christians need to cling to, all scripture is given by the uh, by, by inspiration of God and is profitable for, for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Lies and deceptions in the last days, folks. You and I, if you're a Christian, you see them. You, the veil is removed. The scales are removed from your eyes. But the other people don't see them. The people who are sucked in by mainstream media who who uh, love uh, Joe Biden and uh, think uh, Donald Trump is the worst, and I'm not even saying Donald Trump is a savior or or the best. Um, uh, you know, they're they're dirty shirts and a, and a hamper. Um, but you you know you got to vote for somebody uh, unless you totally decide not to vote. But if you go for the least dirty shirt in that hamper, well, you make your decision, right? Same in Canada, the corruption is being revealed in Canada. There are now spies, foreign agents, treasonous. Um, members of parliament in Canada, which mainstream is suppressing in Canada. Uh, but the truth is coming out. Uh, and, I, and I say this over and over. The truth is being revealed. Massive truth, massive corruption in all governments. It's all coming out now. Uh, and there's going to be great upheaval. There's going to be violence in the streets. There are going to be uh, people on the left getting angry because this corruption is being unveiled, or revealed. Satan is getting angry and he will start to act out even more forcefully when the corruption and the uh, deception is revealed. He doesn't like it. He, his time is really short now. So things, things are going to get crazy, folks. Keep your eye on Jesus. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Things are getting hard.